Good morning guys, back today, working on 2006 Silverado uh, 1500. In the last video, uh, the removal video for the clutch pedal assembly removed. As you can see, the common problem on the clutch pedal assembly, you see, Right here, the mountain, the metal, uh, club metal cylinder mountain here, and I've already broken. So, we have the new one here, which is by the only the club pedal bracket. We don't need a club pedal. We can do, uh, we don't really need to buy the assembly. It will uh, more expensive than we buy the only bracket. I love the design on new bracket here as you can see I don't think the same problem occur again happen again because you can see inside here we have the middle cap you know pop in and then uh, all lock around you can as you can see in the video we have the lock right here one two three yeah, four, four around, lock the cap in place. I don't need to guess all the work done step by step on this. I can do something more important, let you guys see that how to remove and how to install. As you can see, the brackets, it will come to that hole and the mat. Uh, clip metal cylinder out there. Okay, when you're ready, you have the bracket on hand like this. Assembly on hand, you put it in. Make sure you don't have any electrical connector or wire harness between the bracket. Okay. Just put it on like that. Yep. As you can see, the harness right here, take it away. And the holder right there, just leave it alone. It's okay for now. So put it up like that. Yep, seem to be up more. Yep, I try to you another light you look up there like I told you if you want the bracket assembly outside make sure you have the hole up there light up and also you don't have the gap between the bracket and the assembly okay for me I see the hole to the bracket hole okay and then you try to crack it in yeah, hopefully I don't touch the camera. Yeah, try to crack it in like that. And double check again. Do you have anything? Yeah, I see. I see the whole crew where the hole is right now. Yeah, right there. Okay. And try to put it in. Don't try to hand tight the ball right now, guy. Because if you have the hole, it light up the hole, and you don't have it. Okay. Make sure. Yep. Look like it pop in for me. And make sure you don't have any wire between here. Okay. Yeah, let's go in right now and you hold hold the, the brackets up and look the, up there okay I don't have any gap between the bracket and the metal frame okay so go outside and look for how the bracket is coming out to the engine bay 
Okay, so that is right there, guys. The guys here. Yep, that's all I would like to see. Okay, so now, like in the video, I say, you guys can see here. Hopefully, you guys see the hole right there. Huh? It's hard. It's hard for guys to see that. I don't know. So. They are very important on this hole. If you have any reason why we have the gap there, that means shut. Okay. You will damage. Hope, hope you guys see the hole right there. I, I don't have something to show you guys in the video. It's hard to see. Yeah, you can see the hole is up there. But uh, I don't know. Hopefully, you guys see that. You can push the bracket up. And I don't know. I cannot see in the video. Yes. Okay, anyway, for me, there's everything properties right now. So, like I told you guys earlier, when the black get assembly outside, try to hand tight the top both foot, okay? Okay, anyway, you guys, let me done all tighten the bow here, and I will put electrical box here that the one the only one I have to remove to get the job done, okay? Like in the last video I told you the electrical box here. If you don't remove this, no way to take that. Club pedal assembly out, okay? Okay, let me done all here and show you guys something more, more important. I don't want to get long in the video, right? Okay guys, uh, the bracket has been uh, tightened, so don't forget before you put the metal cylinder in and you have to put the seal back. If you forget about this seal and then after you, you put the metal cylinder in and then hard for you to put this seal back okay and then make sure over here you know the safety switch on it here make sure all the wire not between the stuff and then uh, and uh, every time you guys install the bracket any anything install in the car even metal, even flatted like this. During you tighten the bow, eep, you heard the sound like crack. That means it's not properly to install, and then you tighten and it crack. Okay, and uh, in here seem to be okay. From out there, you put. The metal cylinder in the push rock should be pop in this hole okay if not you try to tight the metal cylinder to the bracket and then the, the push rock it, it uh, stay outside that means you have to start over on that and make sure the panel uh, the pedal is up and down smooth like this okay and from outside see how it look like okay guys right there you can see the brackets it uh, coming out even like that it's good that mean we install properly and uh, this is uh, the aftermarket alarm horn power fee you have to leave it up like that, leave it uh, where it's supposed to be and the seal right here, you know, we cannot pop all the way in, it should be like that because someone run the aftermarket cable here 
and at the market alarm wire here okay that's uh, what it was okay and from out here you can see four sorry for just only one hand for me and try to be easy for you see in the video I don't want it I don't want it get hers on the master suit right here yeah you can push put this in yeah put this in like this yeah and then make sure Set the squeak. Don't let it hurt. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Go in. And like I say, it did from there. Okay. Later, you try to put in counterclockwise in about 45 degrees, like this. And then let's pop in. But you have to see from the inside, okay. Okay, guys, I will turn off the camera and uh, lock the master cylinder in, and uh, we will be get it done, okay. Okay, guys, like uh, earlier, I pushed the master cylinder to the bracket hole like that, but we have to go inside here. Make sure the put rock is it uh, properly stay in the hole like that. You can uh, try to frack it in until you hear the click, and then we okay from here. And then electrical wire for the safety switch. Just leave it alone, and we will put it in later. And go outside there, and we'll show you guys. Sorry, I cannot. Uh, Hold the camera and with one hand to do that okay like you can see from out here after the put rock and uh, properly install and then as you can see right now the reservoir crooked about 45 degree clockwise this way and if you look the view from this way and then clockwise and then make sure all over here on the mountain side sit properly and then you try to pack it in and turn it turn it yeah turn it counterclockwise until it's straight that means it lock okay okay almost there sorry just only one hand Yeah, let me put the camera down here to make you guys see. It seems to be. Yeah. Don't try to turn hard on the reservoir before you break it, guys. seem to be straight up right now and you can see right there but that means try to shake it make sure all around here 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 and should be no gap okay if you have to gap I don't think so it uh, can be turned but if you have a gap around here any point that means one leg of the locking points it out okay yeah that's all we like to do properly okay and right now in any gear i don't know yeah just take it out yeah i did a neutral right now yeah four three two and one and what about reverse yep that's all done guys i don't need to uh 
that you see when I remove the vehicle brake, you can see the mark right there. I put in one right now. We can able to move a little bit. Yeah. Okay. It worked good. Okay, that's it, guy, on the video. I uh, and the last video I show you guys when you guys the clip panel bracket broken like decays try to do yourself okay and uh, if you watch some video on the YouTube it's showing you it's showing you to remove all the dashboard all the, the, the thing here oh man it seems to be shot okay all right you guys uh, time for watching see you guys next time